other side, we have Arthas, and Sepakea is playing Sergeant Hammer with a black skin. Over here, we have Andy Landy playing Nazibo, Unichan playing Uther, Stalk playing like a Tyrael, and in the top lane, there's Dwar playing Brightwing. And spawning on the right hand side in the red trunks, it is my beloved Beatar Bakers. I promise I'm not biased, I really am. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> and in the mid lane, currently do, having a bit of a scuffle. It is Wubby on the Tykus with the Master Skin. It is Wolf Joe on the Lily. It is Tomzy on the Valor. Nunda is on the Malfurion. And on the top lane, doing battle with Brightwing, it is Breeze on the Arthas. Alright, so let's see how they um, switch around with the lanes. Looks like always one support um, with the damage dealer. Oh, Nande is in trouble now. He's trying to heal himself back up. And it looks like it's going to be enough here. Uh, yep, both teams the... went for the uh, strategy of kill off one wave in the mid lane first and then head to the bot lane to get your XP. Yeah. Uh, looks like that uh, Arthas came out a little bit ahead in that matter, but we are seeing beat our Bakers showing a bit of dominance in the bot lane now. Seb are though, dueling Wubby, but Wubby throwing down a grenade. Ooh, they get caught out here by Nandai. Stark. They're trying to put so much the damage, focus on him. Heal out of Wolf Dog. Ooh, he is caught out though in the um, Wolf Joe's being from loads. Wolf Joe might be the one to go down here. He the speed boost he gets though he's mounted up he's running around but it looks like he there's four people here can he escape there's Andy Lenny oh, there's the tower hit he's healed himself Cat needs to blind at people to keep himself oh, alive are he you kidding me what a great route out of Nande and no, looks no, like Lily and will get away here yeah the route wow. and the heal saving Honestly. Wolf Joe there very very nice there that is some support if ever I have seen it and <laughs> right now though we are seeing beat our bakers just trying to clear the waves, but Arthur's definitely showing a bit of dominance. Peter Baker's though with a bit of an XP lead because of how how Ufa and Tyrael came down from the mid lane there for that kill. Yep, uh, really nice pickup. Sipakea sitting on top of this tower now and already put out a lot of mines here in this bush. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Makes it a little bit harder to try to gank her. But looks like Wabi and Wolfjo not quite going for that just yet. They still need to defend this this lane here. Uther's coming out to help, but now that Nande is back in the mix here, I think they might have to go back and uh, stay defensive. I think you are probably right. Bobby dropping some damage, but the double heals he is getting allows him to basically walk in and overdrive for free. First shrine does go over to beat our bakers, but the top shrine was lost. Breeze cannot fight a shrine in a two versus one scenario. And Stork once again going on to Breeze. Second time this has happened, but Breeze just too tanky, able to just shrug it off. Um, let's have a look at the talents here. Uh, we have Envenom taken by Arthas. Brightwing also taken Envenom. There is a healing ward on Lily, and also Conjurer's Pursuit on both Malfurion and Lily. And down here, uh, multi shot for Valor. Vampiric Assault on Valor is very, very unusual. We will have to see how this goes. It's adding extra sustain to her, though. And this team seems to be all about sustain. For example, Melting Point uh, gives extra gives Tiger some extra push potential rather than the chase potential with the overdrive. So they're going for sustain rather than chasing and hunting people down, it seems. So yeah, it's interesting, interesting, interesting to see this and on top of the double support. So they have so much heal, and then you have Vampiric, um, Vampiric Assault. So this is really interesting. Let's have a look at that uh, healing tab. So far, 5,800 um, for Team Beat Our Bakers. And is there a total? Arthas? Well, or did you just add it up in your well. head quickly? Like, did, you, did you just find a total tab, or is there a... Uh... No, I just added it up. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you did a map, and I cannot. Well, with three people, it's harder. <laughs> I'm not doing the one for that. <laughs> It's, uh, it's about 5,600, so... Ooh, the only thing I have even focused right on is Lily is dominating everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so much heal. Right now, though, in comes Stork again. On to Nanda. Nanda, always the target here. There's the stun. Overdrive onto Sebkiar, though, doing a lot of damage. Healing Ward gets wiped out so quickly. Tomzi onto Kuri Chad here and onto Sebkiar, doing a lot of damage here. That hit, uh, Vampiric Assault being very effective here. Shrine, Top Shrine is going back over to uh, beat our bakers after stealing that stalk has been pushed out of the bot shrine it is now Valor versus Kunichan in the mid lane can Valor push Kunichan out to grab the shrine doesn't look like she will be able to she's thinking about it but Radiant will stop that but he can heal up back uh, at, at the mana well 
whole stock is being pushed uh, back here as well. Just quickly, in the mid lane, Kuni Chan being dropped very low. He may have to back out here, which could give Tomzi the chance to grab that dragon. Like, he's going for it. There's the vault. Where's the Holy Radiance? Holy Radiance comes in, and Kuni Chan staying out of range, so he doesn't have to try and fight Tomzi. One versus one. But beat oh, up Akers. is getting pushed back oh here. Breeze God. can keep a tight grip Ooh. on that top shrine. So they only need a couple more heroes, maybe two heroes to help out here in the mid. So Dala can finally go into the Dragon Knight. Yeah, and there they have. are. Tomzi and Nande going for it. Andy. Ooh. Good position. Might he got the out here. Some really comes good out. There's the right wing though, but this should be enough. Tomzi. Going for the Dragon Knight here, Nunze holding the team back and the first Dragon Knight of the game does go over to beat our Bakers. Still zero kills. Where is Tomzi going? That is an interesting positioning, but he's able to hit one tower here without aggroing the other one, and he does take that down very quickly. Nunde still here. So far just Nande and, and Tomzi pushing this mid lane here. Yeah, well, they're and still they gaining XP power. and pushing the other lanes very heavily, except the top, which is just Breeze gaining XP, and now he will. Yeah, I like this. Else. I like this rotation that uh, Tyrael will now go after against Arthas. Um, right wing had some trouble there in the top lane, and now Tyrael leaving this lane, but Dragon Knight has popped, so I doubt that um, they'll do any more pushing this top lane. Bottom lane is being pushed pretty hard though. The port is almost down, so Kea the only one defending here, and Wabi might be able to take it out. They're coming in from the top with some siege shines, and Kunichan moving in. Ooh, Wolf oh, Joe. there's the ult. Oh, Wolf Joe gonna be using that. Remember, if he gets CC'd, it will cancel that ult. It is a channel ult. He cannot use any abilities while he's casting it. And if he is stunned, it is over and he will lose so much healing. Now, if you're in, though, basically the opposite. He has tranquility. Oh, he can use Breeze is in trouble in mid lane. Got he's on his on own. Of him. And there's the CC out of Kuni yeah. They will be able to take him out here. Oh, even the heroic out of Mandy, but he gets stopped by Wabi. And now they're trying to take him out, but he gets a good shield. And the heroic out of war, Bobby jumping into that totem form, and they can take out Sergeant Hammer. Can they push this even further here? Bobby pushing out the damage here on this mana well, and Kunishan, he has the Hearthstone back, so it looks like he can put on pressure on the Smith Fort. Yeah, the minions are about to arrive as well. They may, in fact, even be able to pick it off with Sergeant Hammer not here. Wubby, Odin will expire quite shortly. Tranquility did keep them very healthy there, and he, these two sports will continue to keep them healthy. All ultimates are down for both teams, except for obviously Napalm, which is always up at any point. You should never expect it to not be up. Tomzi, just getting some poke down, and I'm, this Vamp Assault really working well for him. And now he's in a healing totem as well. Getting some great healing done. Nande, though, currently the target of a lot of damage, but it's still fine. Oh, Kunishan will go down here. Nice root coming out of Arthas. And well, they will be finally able to um, manage to shake, to shake down this fort. Uh, Uther is still doing some hits here on Tomzi, but Tomsey. there he finally expires. Ryan's will activate in the sec here, and Arf is already going down to Top Shrine, and he had a solid grip on that Top Shrine before, so I doubt, I have no doubts that he would take that one again. Yeah, very, very well played. Very, very well played here by Beta Bakers. They're going to be able to grab this, and uh, currently, Arf is not reacting to this. They are just taking their own mercenaries, and that will actually give a, or it would have given Nunde enough to. Uh, it would have given Tomzi enough time to actually grab the Dragon Knight if his team had stayed there and he'd stayed there. But right now, it looks like they want to group up and try and fight to grab it instead of just trying to sneak it. Wubby, looking for his opportunity here. Root lands oh, on the a judgment onto Nande. Nande just don't care yes, though. CC so out of Kunishan. They looks like they will be able to take out Nande. Oh, ice block. So solid. Tranquility, not enough to keep him alive. And that's actually not too good. A support for a support has gone down. Bright was taken down. Down goes Ufa as well. And it is just Lili, the last remaining support in this. Stork has retreated over the wall with Sebkaya. And beat our Bakers. Take the fight again. Tomzi's been trying to grab the Dragon Knight during this, but Ufa's being a massive pain in the ass. Breeze grabbing the Dragon Knight now, though. Wubby continuing to lay down some harassment to keep the enemy team busy. And Valor heading up to the top lane to clear that so that his team can just continue to get the pressure on. Yeah, just some really good harassment out of Wabi and Wolf Joe uh, to allow them to get that Dragon Knight ready. And now they can push down here on this mid lane, take out the towers, and uh, Sepakea doing a good job trying to push this back with a Napalm Strike. And they will make a return um, or a rotation here by Breeze into the top lane. A little bit dangerous, he will need to get rid of that tower and gate to open up the way for his allies. Unichan already on his back here. But if he's just there by himself, that's not going to be enough here. Tomzi and Breeze put up some good pushing power. Yep, I'm just going to have a quick look at the healing tab again. Lili, 22k. Malfurion, 12k. Brightwing, 14k. 
Ufa, 10k, Imperial, 6k. Yeah, 30,000 versus 32,000, not bad. Not bad at all. Breeze will return here. He's in trouble. Stark going for him. The remainder of his team is trying to help out. I think he should be able to get away here. Yep, he will be. Yep, and level right. 16 talents are up. We have Stone Skin on Arthas, uh, Tenacious Roots on Malfurion, Blood for Blood on Valor, Executioner on Tychus, and Herbal Cleanse. On Herbal Lee. Cleanse is a bit of an interesting choice. It's a nice ability, but it doesn't act in the same way as Cleanse for a bit, because, uh, as the actual cleanse ability. The actual cleanse will remove the uh, any stuns from you, but also make you immune to them for a little bit. I don't think that Lili's does anymore. At least this is what I saw on a guide from a... Which team was it from? can't remember. It's, it's from an American tip. player. It's not on the tool tip, so I guess it's you're right. It's not. But uh, it oh. might be, it, it's not as good as it used to be, way. whereas the other talent on that level is being able to heal two people for a longer cooldown. Arthas is waiting for the steal here. And you do it. There's the root onto Landy and Ward. And oh, the offense is coming nice. in there. He's putting up some good, good damage. The bruises have been taken, though. And Freeze, he's caught out there. It comes Critterize. He's caught out in the, uh, in the zombie wall. He's getting and Tranquility shot, and Healing Totem, though. And they're continuing the chase. There's the root. Down goes Curly Chad. ZPR is backing up. Andy Lendy was somehow able to escape during all this. He has run off towards the top, towards the middle lane, and running all the way around. Sebkia also going to be able to back up, thanks to his first aid and, well, being Sergeant Hammer and having a boost. But, Peter Baker's once again winning the fight. Those Bruiser Camp, that Bruiser Camp actually been cleared up very quickly, thanks to their own Siege Giants. And now, Peter Baker's once again just putting on the pressure. Shrine spawning in 24 seconds. They're still looking really good. Yeah, and the top lane um, is taking some heavy damage by the Bruisers. They might actually take out that fort. We'll have a look soon. Uh, Wobby trying to jump in, but it looks like they will retreat out of this here. At least for now. Yep, the Bruisers will take out that fort. And beat our Bakers, just retreating out of this. Trying to get their shrines again and try to go for that next Dragon Knight. Yep, and they should be able to get it unless we can see Arthas pull off a fight that they haven't really been able to do yet. And, uh, beat our Bakers. Grabbing top shrine. We are seeing Tomzy on his way up to the sorry, grabbing bot shrine. Tomzy is on his way to the top shrine. And the rest of Arthas, except for Andy, is on their way to the bot shrine to try and contest it, but it is four versus four. They do not sorry, four versus three, because Brightwing hadn't respawned. And so they do not want to fight this. We're seeing Arthas heading towards the mid lane. He is gonna be able to grab the Dragon Knight with almost no contestion. Yeah. And we're just seeing Arthas beginning to posture themselves to get ready to defend rather than fight to deny. Arf is completely caught out. I mean, they're in a completely defensive state. There's no way for them to um, make a stand against this Dragon Knight. So this keep is definitely in trouble. Only three keeps standing. All forts are gone. And Breeze is caught there in the zombie wall, but that doesn't really help them all that much. Another stun comes out on him. Staying back, staying back. Yeah. Looking for their opportunity, they are going to be able to take this down with just poking if they continue to do it the way that yeah. they are. Just the Less flame breath fire breath actually while. Fire breath currently isn't on the fort, so that yeah. will not help this time. They still have 30 seconds left though, and only 23% on the Dragon Knight's health. So this is why they're being so cautious. They do not want to waste it. They would much rather wait for their own opportunity, look for something to engage on, maybe wait for the enemy team to overextend. They really need to be making use of some of this fire rift. There's the judgment though onto Wolf Joe. Wolf Joe backing up has yet to use his ult, but it looks like he won't even get the chance. Down he goes, gets polymorphed. The ancestral the Ravenous Spirit though is doing huge damage and it gets interrupted by the Dragonite exploding. Very nice use of that there by Breeze. Breeze is now separated from his team though. Tranquility from Nunday has completely expired already, and they were not able to get a kill. Stalked their best chance. Was able to escape thanks to his angelic flash. They do take down the keep though, Breeze. Going to be able to back up here as well, thanks to well being Arthas. Zepgar does not get rooted, and beat our Bakers. Going to be pulling back there after grabbing that keep. And they're actually going to steal some mercenaries on their way out. That was a great Emerald win. That definitely saved Arthas in this fight here. Um, otherwise, they could have gone for it once they were out of position there. Ooh, Breeze getting displaced here. And there comes the Critterize. A lot of damage and coming out from Beat Our Bakers on the retreat here, but there's a good amount of chase potential. Nice cast aside there by Stork. Breeze still continuing to retreat, but he gets burst down very, very quickly. The root hits everyone, but Beat Our Bakers, the rest of them are going to be able to retreat. Nice fight from Arthas, though. Lily is back up, and she is on her way back to the fight. But this is Arthas' time to get it back. They've already taken 
uh, their own easy camp after uh, we did see Beat Up Baker's trying to steal it. And now after stealing Beat Up Baker's own easy camp, they're just going to be moving in to try and take down this bot fort. Yeah, the bot fort should fall here. And um, I think that Beat Up Bakers need to take another defensive stance here in this bot lane. They're going for the bruises at the same time, so bruises will uh, kind of force Arthas back later on. Uh, otherwise, they might run into trouble and lose their top fort or top keep. Other four sea giants will need to be dealt with. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, and that finally, is the Bakers four siege giants. Position. Four siege giants and a sergeant hammer. They are doing a lot of damage here. They are all here. Arthas has just respawned. He's on his way. They will likely wait to engage for that. But Arthas have realized that Arthas, uh, Arthas have realized that Arthas has respawned. That's not confusing. Uh, they're going to be backing off here and. Maybe taking that bottom bruiser camp, but I doubt they want to take the risk. They will likely just grab this bottom shrine and then move their way up to the top lane to fight that one instead. Kunin-chan, gonna want to get out of here, does not want to get caught out here against the entire team. Arthas, defending their, defending their mid lane, already has catapults in it. They'll probably clear the bruisers as well, but they are definitely going to grab that top shrine just to make sure that they don't give away another Dragon Knight. Yeah, this time Andy is going for it, grabs the top shrine, and you're right, they're going for the bruises, taking those out before they actually get to the keep, and they're sticking close, they're staying as a team, which is quite important in this state, and the bruises have been taken in the bot lane, bot lane uh, already took a little bit of damage, but not too much, oh, it's actually uh, back to full, I um, thought it took damage earlier, but they will grab those gates, tear those down in no time, and put the bruises in the back. So, Tony Chan using messy. sprint. He gets oh, it. He, he interrupts in Lili's ultimate, which means less healing is going to come down. Nande throw down tranquility and then the ice block to save himself. We are seeing Andy Lendy in the back with full damage potential coming out from that Ravenous Spirit as nothing was able to stop it. And this is very nice from Arthas. They have pulled Beat Our Bakers out of their healing totems. And with all the healing ultimates down, this health is pretty much what they've got. They're down to basic healing abilities. And uh, even though they didn't get any kills on either side, this is pretty much the end of Beat Our Baker's push. Yeah, they stopped that in the tracks, and there's still possibilities for... Uh, oh, there's a judgment. Ooh, yeah. Arthas can make something happen here. Wolf Show's kind of oh, caught up, but no. War is so incredibly low, he will pop here. And Stalk is in trouble as well. Breeze going for him. He needs to watch out. There's a Napalm Strike onto him, and he goes down. One for one currently. Can they stand. keep it going? Wobby's getting quite low. Root does not land if that had landed. FPR would have been pretty dead. That was a bit of an unnecessary storm shield, I feel. Might have been a bit late there. But uh, we are seeing, you know, we saw a one-for-one -one trade there. And it wasn't too bad. And Wolf Joe was actually able to survive, surprisingly. Doesn't have too much escape of his own. So, pretty good job. Yep, they're trying to retake that top shrine. Uh, bottom shrine will be taken, of course, here by Kunichan. Not wasting any time to go for that. Uh, they don't want to face another Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight would definitely kill him right now. Well, they could have grabbed it if Tomzi hadn't backed up here. Tom, oh no, they lost bot shrine. Ne never mind. Yep. And Tomzi, he's going for that siege camp. Um, might be a good idea, but Uther is coming in and he's scouting all of this out. So Tomzi will back off. The remainder of his team is coming in. Ooh, there's the bribe by Dwar. Stealing those siege giants. Not bad. Good timing here. And they're going for their own siege giants at the same time. So that's again a four stack of siege giants going through the bot lane for Arthas. Yeah, and we are seeing a very, inc very, very nice play out of Arthur's. What we are seeing here is beat our Bakers. They are playing, I would say, possibly a little bit better. They've been doing an incredibly good job winning most of the fights. But what we saw are seeing from Arthur's is all the right decisions. They're making the right decisions in the right places, and that is keeping them in this game. They've been working as a team, clearing up stuff when it needs to be, interrupting stuff when it needs to, grabbing that top shrine, for example, to prevent yep. a Dragonite. And now you will see them all get back as quick as possible to help defend their bot lane. And they are doing incredible damage control in a situation where they were quite a bit behind. Yeah, um, they're doing a really good job just buying themselves a little bit of time, going for these mercenaries, going for the shrines so they don't face another Dragon Knight, and now they're trying to go for this bot shrine again, and maybe get a chance of a Dragon Knight of their own. Would be their first one, if setting I up. remember correctly. Oh. Uh, yep, you would be correct. They are setting up, though, beat up Bakers. All hanging around here. Breeze is revealed by Holy Radiant, so he's going to be backing up here, and Tomzi reveals himself. They realize that they have been a bit rumbled. So they're going to be looking for another chance to do this. And both shrines, for the first time, are actually going to go over to... Uh, they're going to go over to Team Arthas here. And no one is stopping this. Ufa will get the Dragon Knight. 
And Beat Our oh. Maker's not able to stop that. Great timing here uh, for Arthas. Might be a way to make a comeback happen, but funnily enough, uh, Uther is actually going for the spot lane. They want to force a fight here instead of going for the fort in the mid lane. Uh, well, it's still up, every building in the mid lane is still up, and there's an open keep in the bot lane. They're thinking of this as the priority, and this is why they are pushing it. Right yeah, wing, I guess so. Going to be heading to their right. mid lane to clear that up, just to make sure that they don't take too much damage here. And well, and she can teleport back to her team once she has done this. So for now, this Dragonite will be used quite cautiously, just clearing up any minion waves that come up, keep this wave pushed, and to buy time for the bruises in the top lane to do as much damage as possible. Yeah, bruises are still there. Um, they're still taking care of that fort. It's not, uh, it's not down quite yet, but down to health, health. And there comes the kick onto Arthas. This might be a go here, but not quite yet. Oh, Wubby. Not seeing the judgment. Yeah, I thought he was about to judgment onto Wubby, but saving it. All ultimates are up for both teams. Sepkia, not sieging up. He knows how dangerous it would be here. Oh no, he literally just sieged up right now. It's a dangerous move. Napalm though, going onto Tomzy. Tomzy taking a lot of damage. He does have heals on him, but the keep is already down. Beating up Akers. Bye, Arthas. Uh, beating up Akers in a bit of trouble here. They are still being pushed back. They can't get a good engagement. Dragonite down in five seconds. This is when they'd want to engage. And actually, Arthas have hung around here. Possibly a bit too long. Kuni Chan cleansing himself out of that route, though. Very nice. He's going to be able to walk away. And very well played. Neither team dropping an ult in that match, apart from Napon Strike. Yeah, really, really good uh, team fight. Or rather, not team fight. I mean, just a standoff. But um, well played. Good patience on, on Team Arthas. Yeah, good patience on both teams, but neither one choosing to get an engagement there when they didn't really need it. And it worked quite well. And uh, we do have level 20s available for both teams. And as usual, we see the ultimate upgrades on pretty much everyone except for Brightwing, who's taken Bolt of the Storm, which is a bit unusual, but still makes a bit of sense. It gives her even, it gives her more maneuverability seeing as she took Emerald Wind rather than Blink Heal. Malfurion also took Bolt of the Storm, extra survivability, same with Valor, and Lili taking the Storm Shield. There's the Judgment onto Wubby, Divine Hurricane coming down. Wubby dropping his Odin, he will be able to get it in time. And both healing abilities and Abedar Bakers have got their full duration of Wubby still alive thanks to Tranquility and Healing Totems. The Ravenous Spirit is chasing him. Nazifo has been left completely unattended, but we see Vidal Bakers giving chase here. Devor being dropped quite low. Nunday having to back up it. They need to keep pushing. They need to get something done here. And now Breeze has been called out of position. Back to the cast aside. He will be the first death. And Vidal Bakers with just indecision not all going in together has caused them to lose another member in a fight which just isn't going their way. Wolf Joe may join him. In fact, it's going to be Tomzy who goes down. Wolf Joe is in fact definitely going to join him. He gets trapped. He will go down as well. And this could be it for Arthas. Oh, they could, could be, be game. Bigger. This could be game. Oh, definitely a nice move catching out Arthas there. Once Arthas is gone, um, the whole team fight could uh, go their way. And I think it. Whoa! Yo, this, uh, they're coming in from the back. They're coming in from the back. They got a good Jeff angle. Gaya. Dwight Hurricane hits them both, though. Wobby backing up. He does have the heal on him. Wow, that's a long range judgment. Wobby is still alive. Sepkia is on his own on the core. They're just trying to delay here, but they're so long for the respawn. They're taking so much damage here. There are catapults in the mid lane, but there's no way they'll get to the core in time. 50% left. Nunday is trying to do the best he can. Wobby comes in. He's going to take down Kuni Chan. Moving on to Stork. They need to kill these people off, but it's not enough. And it's going to be Arthas that moves on to the next round. Wow. What a thrilling match here. Not bad. Nice turnaround for Team Arthas. Would have uh, not expected to see this happen. Really, really well great, played. Great job. They were losing in the early game. They were losing in the healing fight. They were losing in pretty much everything. Yeah. But Brightwing and Ufa and Sergeant Hammer got them to the late game. They were able to push forward. The Divine Hurricanes at the end there were incredible. Every single one he dropped was amazing. Yeah. Great job. And like I said, Arthas, even though they were losing, they won by making the correct decisions. They didn't. To, they didn't make mistakes. They didn't try to push a, a lane when it didn't need to be. They didn't try to fight when it didn't need to. They cleared waves. They took shrines. They just made sure that Beedar Bakers could not keep all that control on the map. And they stole quite a lot of mercenaries, which otherwise would have put so much pressure on them that they would have not been able to come back.